This video is property of MBKP International LLC. This is step three of installing a laser tube on our CO2 laser engravers. One thing I may have forgotten in the first videos is that when you put this tube in, make sure you're putting it in the right way. As you can see, this um, this in here, it's got a hole in it, and you can see a mirror in there. Okay, that's where the light laser is going to come out. So you want to make sure this end is, is pointing is next to the first mirror on your laser graver. The other end over here, as you can see, it's just going to be a sealed off piece. It's not you, you can tell it's, there's nothing there. It's just going to be sealed off. So you want to make sure the end with the hole in it is pointing towards your first mirror. Okay. Okay, I've already, um, as you can see, we got the solder on these good. You, just go, you, you tug on them slightly, make sure they're on there good. And I did on the on the ground wire as well. Just a nice little tug, make sure they're on there. Okay, and I, I put this on before, if you remember, this shrink tube. And I like to put this on, and then now you can just slide it up the, the wire and slide as far as you can forward. And then you take your shrink gun, your heat gun, As you can see that close up on that, as you can see that shrink up around that bead of um, solder real good. And so it'll help hold it in place and help keep anything from arcing. And now your final piece is this um just be careful when you're doing it here. And always be careful when you're like when you're when I wrap that wire around there and then I use the needle nose to kind of push that last end down. You want to make sure you don't have any wire sticking up. Everything needs to be nice and smooth before you put the solder on. And your so bead, bead of solder needs to be nice and smooth. You don't want anything to poke, any pokes where it can poke through here and then arc later. And um, once you get that on good. What I use um, on that is, I got this here. You can find your own, but it's a, it's a silicone. It's sensor safe. It's just basically for electrical items. And what I want to do here is I want to just get a little bit around this here. Okay. And now I'm just going to make sure it's all around it good. And we'll get this tube up in here. You take your last tube that I had there and just kind of get it swirled around a little bit. Make sure it gets it all around there nice. Make sure the silicone's in there good. And just squeeze it up in there. Okay. And if you want, you've, if you get a nice small tip on your silicone, you can squirt some more up in there if you want. But it, that should be plenty good. It'll keep that in place. And um, it's completely sealed off to where there can be no arcing as long as you didn't have any real sharp burrs sticking out or wires sticking out from that solder. And on the other end, you just come down here and do the same thing on the other end. Again, I had this ready. You slide that over. Use your shrink gun, shrink that around it. And then, you know, put your um, silicone around that. Sensor safe silicone is preferable. And you'd slide this around it and you'd be finished there. You'd have both, both wires attached. From there, all you need to do is attach your, um, you're going to come here and you're going to attach your, this is the one to the um, water flow sensor. You're going to attach it to this end of your tube. Just like that, pretty simple. And this one over here, we had uh, another tube for that end. And you attach your final one on that. This is where we clipped them off in the first video. And just feed them right up on there as far as you can feed them. It's better to be get it all the way on there. And I'll do the I'll finish this later, this part here, just to make this video shorter, but that's pretty simple. You see it on the first one, it's the same thing on that one. Once you get that, it's pretty simple from there. You're gonna you're gonna feed it down into to these brackets. You're gonna slip it down to these brackets and make sure this this goes over it. Nice and good, and then you just basically clamp that down, and it would clamp them in place just like before. Just install it the way, same way you took it out. But it's a pretty simple process. I'm going to skip um, putting the tube back in and clamp it down because you should be able to do that from the first video. Just reverse the process, and just make sure, and then just snug it down nice and tight. 
not too tight, but nice and snug to keep the um, tube in place, and you should be ready to go. You're basically going to keep this end just about an inch or so, inch and a half, two inches away from away from this first mirror, about about like that. You're going to have it about like that, just from the first mirror. It doesn't really matter. It ain't, ain't going to affect it either way much anywhere, but that's about average where you're going to put it. Okay, this video is property of MBKP International LLC.